come let us worship and bow down to our King and God. Oh come let us worship and bow down to Christ our King and God. Oh come let us worship and bow down to Christ himself our King and God. Bless the Lord O my soul. O Lord my God you are very great. You are clothed with the honor and majesty covering yourself with light as with a garment. You stretch out the, the, the heavens like a curtain. You set the beams of your upper chambers in the waters. Who makes the clouds his chariot? Who walks on the wings of the wind? who makes his angel spirits and his ministers a flame of fire. You laid the foundations of the earth so that it should not be moved forever. You covered it with the deep as with a garment. The waters stood above the mountains. At your rebuke they fled. At the voice of your thunder they hastened away. They went up over the mountains. They went down into the valleys to the place which you founded for them. You have set a boundary that they may not pass over, that they may not return to cover the earth. He sends the springs into the valleys. They flow among the hills. They give drink to every beast of the field. The wild donkeys quench their thirst. By them the birds of the heavens have their home. They sing among the branches. He waters the hills from his upper chambers. The earth is satisfied with the fruit of your works. He causes the grass to grow for the cattle and the vegetation for the service of man, that he may bring forth food from the earth and wine that makes glad the heart of man, oil to make his face shine, and bread which strengthens man's heart. The trees of the Lord are full of sap, the cedars of Lebanon, which he planted, where the birds make their nests. The stork ha has her home in the, fire, in the fir trees. The high hills are for the wild goats. The cliffs are a refuge for the rock badgers. He appointed the moon for seasons. The sun knows it's, own, it's going down. You make darkness, and it is night, in which all the beasts of the forest creep about. The young lions roar after their prey and seek their food from God. When the sun rises, they gather together and lie down in their dens. Man goes out to his work and to his labor until the evening. O Lord, how manifold you are, your, are your works. In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your possessions. The great wide sea in which are innumerable teeming things. Living things both, sh both small and great. There the ships shall sail about. There is that Leviathan which you have made to play there. These, are, these all wait for you that you may give them their food in due season. What you give them, they gather in. You open your hand, they are filled with good. You hide your face, they are troubled. You take away their breath, they die and return to their dust. You send forth your spirit, they are created. And you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. He looks on the earth, and it trembles. He touches the hills, and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praise to my God while I have my being. May my, may my meditation be sweet to him. I will be glad in the Lord. My, may sinners be consumed from the earth, and the wicked be no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul. The sun knows it's going down. You make darkness, and it is night. O Lord, how manifold your, your, are your works. In wisdom you have made them all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit.
Deliver me, O Lord, from evil men who contrive injustice in their heart. Wisdom. The reading is from the first book of Exodus. Let us be attentive. And the Lord said to Moses, Go to the people and, con and consecrate them today and tomorrow, and let them wash their garments, and be ready by the third day. For on the third day the Lord will come down upon Mount Sinai in the sight of the people. And you shall set bounds for the people around about, saying, Take heed that you do not go up to the mountain, or touch the border of it. Whoever touches the mountain shall be put to death. No hand shall touch him, but he shall be stoned or shot. Whether beast or man, he shall, he shall not live. When the trumpet sounds a long blast, they shall come up to the mountain. So Moses went down from the mountain to the people, and consecrated the people, and they washed their garments. And he said to the people, Be ready by the third day. Do not go near a woman. On the morning of the third day, there were thunders and lightnings, and a thick cloud upon the mountain, and a very loud trumpet blast, so that all people who were in the camp trembled. Then Moses brought the people out of the camp to meet God, and they took their stand at the foot of the mountain, and Mount Sinai was wrapped in smoke because the Lord descended upon it in fire, and the smoke of it went up like the smoke of a kiln, and the whole mountain quaked greatly. And as the sound of the trumpet grew louder and louder, Moses spoke, and God answered him in thunder. Deliver me from, the, from my enemies, O God. Save me from those who work iniquity. The reading is from the book of Job. Wisdom, let us be attentive. Then the Lord answered Job out of the whirlwind. Who is this that darkens, that darkens counsel by words without knowledge? Gird up your loins like a man. I will question you, and you shall declare to me. Where were you when I laid the foundations of the earth? Tell me, if you have understanding. Who determined its measurements? Surely you know. Or who has stretched the line upon it? On what were its bases sunk? And who laid the cornerstone when the morning stars sang together and all the sons of God shouted for joy? Or whom shut it, shut it in, the sea, in the sea doors when it burst forth from the whom? When I, when I made clouds its garment and thick darkness its waddling band and prescribed for it and set bars and doors and said, Thus, thus far shall you come and no farther, and here shall your proud ways be stayed. Have you commanded the morning since your days began, and caused the dawn, but dawn to know its place, that it might take hold of the skirts of the earth, and the wicked be shaken out of it? It is changed like clay under the seal, and it di died like a garment. From, from the wicked their light is withheld, and their uplifted arm is broken. Have you entered into the springs of the sea, or walked in recesses of the deep? Have the gates of, of death been opened to you, or have you seen the gates of deep darkness? Have you comprehended the, the expanse of the earth? Declare if you know all this. Where is the way to the dwelling of the light, and where is the place of darkness, that you may take it to the territory, and that you may discern the path of its home? You, kn you know, for you were born, you were born then, and the number of your days is great. Then Job answered the Lord and said, I knew that you can do all things. And that, and, and that no purpose of yours can be, can be thwarted. Who is this that hides counsel without knowledge? Therefore I uttered what I did not understand, things too wonderful for me, which I did not know. Hear, and I will speak. I will question you, and you will speak to me. I had heard of you by the, by the hearing of the ear, but, but now my eye has seen you. The reading is from the book of Isaiah. Wisdom, let us be attentive. The Lord God has given me, has given me the tongue of those who are taught, that I may know how to sustain with a word him that, that is weary. Morning by morning he weakens me, he, wa he, he wakens me, he wakens me my, my ear to hear as those who are taught. The Lord, has, uh, Lord God has opened my ear, and I was not rebellious, I turned not backward. I gave my back to the smiters, and my cheek to those who pulled out the beard. I hid not my face from the shame and spitting. For the Lord God helps me. Therefore I have not been confounded. Therefore I have set my face like a flint, and I know that I shall not be put to shame. He who vindicates me is near. Who will contend with me? Let us stand up together. Who is my adversary? Let him come near to me. Behold, the Lord God helps me. Who will declare me guilty? Behold, all of them will, will wear out like a garment. The moth will eat them up. Who among you fears the Lord and obeys the voice of his servant? Who walks in darkness and has no light? Yet trust in the name of the Lord and relies upon his God. Behold all you who kindle a fire, who set brands alight. Walk by the light of your fire and by the brands which you have kindled. This 
shall you have from my from my hand. You shall lie down in torment. take counsel together. Why did the Gentiles rage so furiously, and the people contrive vain things? The reading is from the first epistle of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brethren, I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus on the same night in which he was betrayed took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, th th eat. this is my body, which is broken for you, do this in remembrance of me. In the same manner, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant of my blood. This do as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death till he comes. Therefore, whoever eats this bread and drinks of this cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of the bread and drink of the cup, for he who eats and drinks in an unworthy manner eats and drinks judgment to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this reason, many are weak and sick among you, and many sleep. For if we would judge ourselves, we would not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastened by the Lord, that we may not be condemned with the word. Be with you. 
And as they were eating, Jesus took bread, blessed and broken, and gave it to his holy disciples, and said, Take and eat, this is my body. Then he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you. This is my blood in your covenant, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. But I say to you, I will not drink of this fruit of the vine from now on until the day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. And when they had sang a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives, and Jesus said to them, All of you will be made to stumble because of me this night, for it is written, I will strike the shepherd and the sheep of the flock will be scattered. But after I have been raised, I will go before you to Galilee. Peter answered and said to him, Even if all are made to stumble because of you, I will never be made to stumble. And Jesus said to him, I surely I say to you that this night before the rooster crows, you will deny me three times. Peter said to him, Even if I have to die with you, I will not deny you. And so said all the disciples. Then Jesus came with them to a place called Gethsemane and said to his disciples, Sit here while I go and pray over there. And he took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, and he began to be sorrowful and deeply distressed. And he said to them, My soul is exceedingly sorrowful, even to death. Stay here and watch with me. He went a little further and fell on his face and prayed, saying, O oh, my Father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Now the last, nor as I will, but as you will. Then an angel appeared to him from heaven, strengthened him, and being in agony, he prayed more earnestly. Then his sweat became like great drops of blood, falling down to the ground. He, when he rose up from prayer, he had come to his disciples, he found them sleeping from sorrow. And he said to Peter, Could you not watch with me one hour? Watch and pray, lest you enter into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Again a second time he went away and prayed, saying, O oh, my Father, if this cup cannot pass away from me, unless I drink it, then you will be done. And he came again and found them sleeping again, and their eyes were heavy. So he left them, went away again, and prayed the third time, saying the same words. Then he came to his disciples and said to them, Are you still sleeping and resting? Behold, the hour is at hand, and the Son of Man is being betrayed into the hands of sinful sinners. Rise, let us be going. See, my betrayer is at hand. And while he was still speaking, behold, Judas, one of the twelve, with a great multitude of swords and clubs, came from the chief priests and elders of the people. Now he, his betrayer, has given them a sign, saying, Whomever I kiss, he is the one seizing. Immediately he went up to Jesus and said, Read him, Rabbi, and kiss him. But Jesus said to him, Friend, why have you come? Then they came and laid hands on Jesus and took him. And suddenly one of those who were with Jesus stretched out his hand and drew his sword, struck the servant of the high priest and cut off his ear. But Jesus said to him, Put your sword in his place. For all who take the sword will perish by the sword. Or do you think that I cannot pray to my Father and He will provide with more than twelve legions of angels? Then how then could the Scriptures be fulfilled that I, that He must have of thus? In that hour Jesus said to the multitudes, Have you come out as against a robber with swords and clubs to take me? I said daily with you, teaching in the temple, and you did not seize me. But all this was done that the scripture of the prophet might be fulfilled, that all the disciples forsook him and fled. And those who had laid hold of Jesus led him away to Kephas, the high priest, where the scribes and the elders had assembled. But Peter followed him in a distance to the high priest's courtyard, and he went and said with the servant to see the end. Now the chief priests, the elders, and all the councils of false testimony against Jesus to put him to death. But found none. Even though false witnesses came forward, they found none. But less of all, two false witnesses came forward and said, This man said, I am able to destroy the temple of God and to rebuild it after three days. And the high priest arose and said to him, Do you answer nothing? What is this this man testify against you? 
But Jesus kept silent. And the high priest answered and said to him, I put you under the oath by the living God. Tell us if you are the Christ, the Son of God. And Jesus said to him, It is as you said. Nevertheless, I say to you, Hereafter you will see the Son of Man sitting at the right hand of the power and coming on the clouds of heaven. And the high priest tore his clothes, saying, He has spoken blasphemy. What further need do we have a witness? Look now, you have heard his blasphemy. What do you think? They answered and said, He is deserving of death. Then they spat on his face and beat him, and others stroked him with the palms of their hands, saying, Prophesy to us, Christ, who is the one that struck him? Now Peter sat outside in the courtyard, and a girl came to him, saying, You also work with Jesus of Galilee. But he denied it before them all, saying, I do not know what you are saying. And when he had gone out to Gateway, another girl saw him and said, Those who were there, This fellow also was with Jesus of Nazareth. And again he denied it with an oath, I do not know the man. And a little later, those who stood by came up and said to Peter, Surely you are also one of them, for even your speech betrays you. Then he began to curse and swear, saying, I do not know the man. Immediately a rooster crowed, and Peter remembered the words of Jesus who said to him, Before the rooster crows, you will deny me three times. So he went out and went in. The morning came, and all the chief priests and elders and all the people plotted against Jesus to put him to death. And when they had bound him, they led him away to be delivered to Pontius
taught to be the fresh the blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Shed for the life and the salvation of the world. Amen. 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 And unite us all to one another who become partakers of the one bread and the cup and the communion and the one Holy Spirit. Grant that none of us might partake of the holy body and blood of the Christ in judgment and condemnation. But that we might find mercy and grace with all the saints and through all the ages of pleasing. Forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, teachers, and every righteous spirit be perfect in faith, especially for our most holy, your blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and the Virgin Mary. Excellent, Tonis Manaya Sacrando, Iperabroya Menisem Lonzo Espinisimo Theotokos, Kebarthelum Maria. All creation rejoices in you who are full of grace, the hierarchy of angels and the human race. For out of the temple and spiritual paradise, Virgin's pride for whom all be existing. God received flesh and was born elder child. Dear
Forgive us the day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. We will worship the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of angels.
God is for us. Therefore, nothing can be against us. May the Holy Trinity bless you and protect you always.